Hello everyone and welcome back to Resonant Rise. Kate is back with me today. Hello. And today we're going to the Nether. I have no idea what to expect on the other side of this. So. <laughs> All right. Without any further ado and with great shortage of fanfare and excitement, let's see what's on the other side of this. And hope that it is not suspended over an enormous... Um, come on. Oh boy, it's taking a sweet time loading. Here we go. Oh boy, I am inside of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, good. We're, we're out on a netherrack field. Oh boy. This is way more colorful in here than usual. Yeah, what do we have here? Nether quartz okay. right at our feet. Well then, let's get some of that stuff. Yeah. I don't know what all of this is, so, ah. but it, whoa, uh, chunks must still be forming, bit of a lag spike there. Nether sulfur ore. Yeah. Ah. Okay, yeah, so it's still the nether. Almost got us a secure entrance way here. A let's a, a let's not have the ghasts get us stuck in here entrance. Yes, always prefers. Okay, not perfect, but it'll do for the purposes that I am currently. It will do for our current purposes. Okay, so quartz we need. What else do we have? What what exploded by the way? Uh. Was that the gas shooting at you? Yeah. Okay, we need a we need oh. Whoa. What was that? Gast. Okay. Darn gasts. Don't forget you got proper range on your arrows. Viroxines. Hmm. Okay, well, that's interesting. It's it looks this looks like noxious stuff though. This green ore. Oh, there we are. That's more like it. What else do we have here? Oh, nice shot. Oh, hello. Of course, that's one thing I didn't bring with me. What's Nether that? coal. Interesting. Was that that wasn't an angry pigman, was it? I think so. You don't think so? Another ferrosaur? I don't think so. Needs okay, so we need a much better pick to harvest some of this. Oh, there's a coal ore found in the nether now. That's interesting. It's downright colorful in here. It is, and look there's uh, 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 don't stand on the green stuff. Oh, okay, that is dangerous, is it? I thought yeah. I was thinking it looked a little hazardous with its green glowiness and yeah do not stand on the green stuff Ow. what do we have here aldorite interesting harvesting level we can get some of this for science ooh oh we can harvest some of the green stuff yeah we want to take it back and see what the heck let's see what this is i'm going to get some of this first and then i've got some ignatius ore of some sort But I mean, we really. Look funny. Uh, from. Cool. All right. Well, we've got some good stuff here already. This is interesting. Interesting that there are so many different ores here. Mm hmm. I see there is some opportunities for research and science in our future. For science. That's awesome. And it's pretty. I mean, there's an upside down tree over there, Kate. I know, I saw that. Was that? Yeah, no, the, the, the nether in here actually looks kind of lovely. In a hellish sort of way. Yeah. Oh, what's all this? Uh oh. Where is it? I don't know. I hear it, but I cannot see it. Again. There is a lot of this green stuff. I wonder if it's even all that useful. 
considering how much of there it there is. Uh, no, I just I just grabbed seven or eight. Um, yeah. Blocks just to see. Can yeah, just can you ha harvest that purple one right beside you? Uh, no, it, it requires obsidian. Hmm. Uh, more precisely, it requires the ability to harvest obsidian. Yeah. I... Yeah. I know. I just just thinking out loud. Quartz, which is what we're really here for, anyways. Yeah, I got a bunch of quartz. We need tons of quartz. I got twelve. There's some. No, never mind. That's not it. Good grief. Another lead. More quartz. More coal. Oh god. I just carved a hole in the floor. I almost dropped myself down. <laughs> and this is a big deposit of quartz. Infernal beehive. Magic bees. <laughs> That's funny. Now, I could swear that I had set this server to use the reduced ores, but it sure doesn't feel like it based on what I'm seeing here, does it? No, but I mean, a lot it's a lot of different ones, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well... Back. There's a fiery dude here. Who is this? Fire elemental. Okay. All right. Well, do you need help? No, I killed him. I'm not entirely sure where you are right now, so... Kill his buddy. I went down the hill. Down the hill. Oh, there you are. Did you leave a... Uh, is there a way back up? Uh, oh, what the heck? Be. What the heck? It's, I think I just got... Exp I think a... I think I just heard a bat explode. Yikes. Lemurite. That's interesting. There must be fiery bats or something in here. Ooh, what's this? Medazium. Interesting. We have a lot of ores here. Um, shadow iron. Cool. Mining all the things here. Let's see. Oh, glowstone. Good call. Ah, 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 ah. what's this? Why is he? Oh crap! Run for your life, Kate. We have angry pigmen. Oh god. I don't know why he's mad, but he just came after me for no obvious reason. This one doesn't seem to have noticed. Let me see if these guys have noticed. Yep. They've noticed me. Oh, good. I can get a mid-jump here. Oh, he got me. Watch it. He's coming after you now. Boy, that sure didn't take very long. Ow, ow, ow. I'm right. gonna make a quick sword. Okay. <sighs> Slap a quick sword together, because we just gotta retrieve our stuff and get out of there. Uh huh. Damn pigmen. Uh huh. I guess I should make a. <sighs> I don't wanna waste. I'll make a stone sword and a stone pickaxe. That should do. I suppose it's not, with all the ores in this world, it's not like it's a waste, but I just feel... Old habits die hard. Oh, let's see. And a sword. Two more sticks. Huh? Just thinking out loud here. There we go. pick to break the gravestones sword to kill the things and we're doing this real fast I'm just gonna run down retrieve the stuff and hopefully we can just retreat to safety as quickly as possible that would be good let's hope there's not too many more angry pigmen here so I've built a stairway over here Uh-oh. There's a pigman up here. He's going to be mad, isn't he? Not so far. Seems okay. He's looking at us, but he's not... Skeleton dude down there. Okay. 
A spider too. Oh, here comes He's the. At you. Yeah, yeah, I see him. I see him. Baby heat scarf spider. Okay. Oh, skeleton. Ooh, there's a bush creeper, of creeper. creeper. Well, that was unfair. Creepers in the Nether. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Nitro creeper too. I'm coming. I'm just coming empty-handed. Well, the Nether is still full of. It seems to be full of more death than vanilla. That's for sure. Yes, I can't get your stuff. Why not? Because I'm full. Oh, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. That's why I said I'm coming. Oh, God, tell me he's not mad. No, he's not. Okay. At least not at me. Okay, could you break the... Yeah, uh, where's Just... that spider? Where's what spider? That's a, that's a bat. Oh. Okay, I got a couple of your things, but that's all I had room for. Okay. I think, I think you've got my pants. Possibly. Um... I Let's gotta... get safe before we distribute pants, shall we? Okay, as soon as I find out what this is. Skyberry bush. Bringing you home. Hey. <laughs> oh, I got it. Good. It's weird there for a second. Pickaxe. There's my pick. There's my sword. Axe. Shovel. 31 quartz. It's not really as much as I was hoping to get here. I've got another vein here that I'm working on. I'll, I'm going to get a bit more of these special ores from Metallurgy. Because you never know. They will have to be researched in with care when we get home. Uh-oh. The sound of a pigman getting hurt really scares the crap out of me these days. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. What's this? More quartz. Excellent. I have accumulated a quantity of quartz. That is good. There's trees here. Dark wood leaves from Natura down if you can get a sapling just See working on it. in the overworld it's a blue wood oh I am in such a bad place right now okay yeah we'll just let that one go there it goes oh I got an apple of some sort from it and no saplings that I can see but two potash Two potash apples. Oh, nice. No idea. I, I have a sneaking hunch. It might not be that tasty, though. Probably not. Get home, we shall experiment. Yes. Get home and we shall examine the... And probably die horribly a few times trying to get it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay. Some more shadow iron. There's a lot of shadow iron in here. There's a lot of everything in here. Hmm. Yeah, the nether is... Full of food. Yeah. Oh, that's obsidian harvesting. So we got here lemurite. A bit more of that. Okay, I have a stack of quartz now. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, there's lots more where that came from. What was that? What was that? I hear. I heard something explode. Me. All right. Where, where are you relative to? I'm by the portal. Okay, another lead. Oh, lead. Let's see what we got here. I have a gas tier. Cool. Killed that dude. Did you get a sapling? No, like I said, it did, I didn't. But there's, but the wood is is pretty cool looking. It may have just been bad luck. Oh, more another I'm lead. Going home. Scared. Lead. Another coal. Yeah, there's lots more quartz oh, where that came from, oh, okay. but I've got 
just about a stack of quartz. I'm going to see if I can get a couple more here. There's a deposit really close to our base. Yeah, no, that's tin. Never mind. All the different white ores possible, apparently. Lead. That's going to be confusing. Okay. Well, if I can get this metallurgy thing set up and running, then I can, I, I'm going to see about making the Thalmanomicon as soon as possible. That's more tin. Quartz. There's some quartz. What would you humph about? Uh, I got wool of bat. Oh, oh, that's a that's a witchery thing, I think. I know it says so right there. Cool. I'm gonna, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna start a witchcraft chest for all the assorted witchery ingredients. Things. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll we'll actually be um. There, there's a actually a mod that I'm aware of called Refined Relocation. Uh, it's a sorting mod, and one of the things you can do with it is to actually set the fil the sorting filters based on mod. Ah, oh, nice. So you can set it to put all of the witchery stuff in one box and all of the thomcraft stuff in another and so on and so forth. That could be very handy. There's a scary number of pigmen carrying golden swords in here. Mm -hmm. If this was better than wolves, I'd be taking a real big chance here right now, I tell you. <laughs> Because that is an insane quantity of gold. Because in Better Than Wolves, they 100 drop reliably drop all of their uh, swords. So, yeah. okay, we have made it home. Here's your dark wood. I put it in the wood products box. It's very pretty. Oh. We have a skyberry bush. A little bit of evil slow dive. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm going to plant that. It'll be interesting to see if it grows in the overworld or not. Okay, well, it doesn't grow on on dirt, which is interesting. I'm betting it grows on grass or something. Let's just see if it grows on plain. Nope, it doesn't grow on bare dirt. Does it grow on netherrack? Yes! Alright, I've got a little netherrack plant. Alright, we're going to just pop that on instead of putting it right next to the strawberries. <laughs> I don't know why I'm slightly paranoid, but... Um, um, no, I know. You have, <laughs> because you have been playing better than wolves? Probably, yep. Okay, there we go. So I've put it a little ways away from the other plants for safety. Okay. So nether rack can go in the stone box for now. Ores can go in the ore box for the moment. Thank you. And the quartz, where'd you put the quartz? Uh, it's still on me right now. All right, just throw it in the ores box for now. Uh, it's important and I'm gonna need it to stand out. Wrath shard from Forbidden Magic, that sounds important. There we go. We've got almost three stacks, so that's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. I'm going to have to find out what these Staff of Travelings do. Let's see. I'm feeling kind of brave right now. Get my health back up to full. Hmm. Interesting. Is that a, a random skeleton just walked past us? <laughs> Come on. Come here. Jerk. There we are. Got him. Cool. Of course, I bled all over the place in the process. Uh, daytime. So Whoa! That sounded bad. If you sh crouch and right click it, it teleports you. Right click Caught. what? Staff of Traveling. Oh! Cool. Not of great distance. But that's interesting. Could be useful. 
powered off of RF too, so we'll we'll actually be able to charge it in the. Uh... That's cool. Some interesting possibility there. Okay, so I think the plan at this instant in time is for me to pause the recording and get things organized to get the rest of my mechanism set up ready. Okay. Seemed reasonable? Because yeah. it's not going to be super exciting watching me try and derp around trying to figure out how to get all the resources. So I will bring you all back in as I get further along in the process of getting this reorganized and ready. Kate is off exploring right now. So she'll just contribute little uh-huhs on occasion, I'm sure, as uh, I'm talking to you guys. Probably. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've uh, reorganized the room here a bit, moved the heat generator over there. The, so this guy here is the first step in making things for mechanism. It does two things. The metallurgic infuser can... Basically, it takes iron ingots and infuses either redstone or coal into it to give us either an enriched alloy or steel which is kind of critical because they are required to make the components of the next item we need, which is called the enrichment chamber. So this is a recipe for control circuits. It's a item that we're going to need a bunch of in tons of them, basically. Then we have the steel casing, which is four steel ingots around an osmium ingot, and that seems to be what most of the mechanism blocks are built in. And those three things combined with these enriched alloys and redstone will give us the enrichment chamber. Now what the enrichment chamber does is it takes ores and it converts them to dust form. So it will give us um, dusts. Now I'm going to reorganize this, a little, reorganize this as we proceed, but the dusts are used in second tier recipes which we will go over in a few minutes once I get some of these things ground up but you can convert all sorts of stuff all the ores to dusts in the enrichment chambers and this is another route towards ore doubling similar to what we the basically the same output of ores as we got from the tinker's construct so I'm gonna grind out some more materials and get the next set of recipes organized and I'll see you on the flip side all right Everything's ready. We have a lot of crafting to do. I'm going to try not to bore you too much, but we're going to go through it sequentially here. So first thing we have is an electric pump, because we're going to need water. So that's the recipe for it. Expensive, but not too bad. This is an electrolytic core. <gasps> oh, what'd you find, Kate? Uh, spider tree. I think I'm okay. Okay. Be careful. I'm poisoned, but I'm okay. All right. So the electrolytic core is a component of the uh, electrolytic separator for separating electricity or oxygen and hydrogen. This is the crusher. It's used for an early, a mid-level, a mid-range processing of the um, various bits and bobs we will be getting. And this is an energized smelter because it's kind of nice to not have to smelt these using coal after all this effort. Let's see, then over here we have this requires, there's our electrolytic separator. So that allows us to make hydrogen and oxygen, which is going to be cool. And this is a gas tank, which I will explain a little later. These are a component of the last item we have to build, the most expensive item. It's called the Enrich Purification Chamber. It uses oxygen to enrich the ores somehow ahead of processing. So just a few very expensive bits and bobs here, right? You don't want to know how many resources I've just gone through to do this, Kate. Okay, don't tell me. <laughs> I won't. All right, so we'll put... Let's see, let's see if we can shift this over by one. So we've got the energized smelter here. The crusher, let's see, then it's the in, enrichment chamber, the purification chamber, and the start with the, no, it's in the wrong order. Let's see, hold on, it's purification chamber, I've got to do this right. Smelter, enrichment, 
Crusher Purification. Okay. Electrolytic separator and a pump, or sorry, the water pump right there. Now then, let's see. No RF. Let me see, how do I, I must not be powering this from the right side. Some of these must only be powered, able to be powered from the back or something. Fine then. We will reorganize. I've got a few extra cables and some... Okay, let's see if this works any better. Universal cable along the back. Pump right there. Are you powered now? Yes, you are. And you're filling up with water. Separator. Powered. Filling up with water. Filling up with hydrogen. I wonder which way, which... wonder which gas goes out which side. Hydrogen. Oxygen. Oh. Interesting. Apparently has some other... I wonder what's going into here. Are we getting the right gas here? Can't even tell what's in there. Hydrogen, that's a white gas going in there, which is not good. I think that's the one I actually... Hmm. Let's see. Well, let's see if I can get something else to come out of here. Not that way we can't. Oh, hey. I was up under a dark tree, and then night happened. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. I didn't notice because I was, you know, in a dark tree. Let's try it this way. Still filling up with water. Let's see. I have to figure out how to get bloody, uh, how do I control? Okay, so it will just it will just dump the hydrogen into the atmosphere if I want it to, but I really want to keep both gases if I can. Because I have the ability to actually make a hydrogen generator if I do this right. I wonder what's in there. That looks like oxygen. That's not connected. Ooh, I might need a uh, Hold on, let's see. Where's my wrench? I left it up here. This is the part I haven't figured out yet. You see. That one. Down we go. Let's see, if I put this here, can I force it to connect? No. Okay. Might have to put this behind the wall and rotate it around or something. Well, let's see. Actually, let's use the gas tank and find out what actually gas is coming out of here. Oxygen. Okay. So, hmm, interesting. Okay. I'm just going to dump the oxygen out of that because I actually don't want it full of oxygen. Hmm. Let's try it this way. Let's see if I... Oh, shoot. Can I rotate? Hmm? What's wrong? Um... I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Well, that's not good. May have lost the stupid beekeeper. Oh. Well, that would be unfortunate. Hmm. I got it. I got it. I got it. A solution pretty sure I blocked him up again, but I just saw a kerfuffle inside, so I don't know. We're just going to... Obviously, I'm doing this from the wrong side, so I just have to flip it around. There we are. Simple solutions are simple. It's just going to be funny looking at the back of the thing, that's all. Well, I hope you didn't. we didn't lose anybody, but... Kate's exploring a village right now, by the way. Whoops. And it's night, and it's very scary. Scary, even. Crazy town. Alright, up, over, over, 
And that should be, hopefully, oxygen coming through there now. Oh, right, of course there's no... Right, we need to run power to there. Holy mother of... Oh, okay. Mechanical pipe, pressurized tube, shift. I need a liquid duct. What's going on? Huh, there's about 12 zombies around this house right now. Oops. I'm very... Let's see, where is... Tube. Let's try tube. Uh, or what are these called? Hold on. Duct. Okay, let's try that. Should get us all. Of, there we are. Fluid duct requires lead and copper. Lead, copper. Okay. All right. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I've pillared uh, over to the house. No, yeah, there's zombies inside. Never mind. Oh, no. They're dead. That sucks. Oh, dang. You didn't block... Did you not get a chance to block up the doors? I thought I had. Yuck. I thought I had. Mm, that sucks. Oh, that guy's not dead. Okay. I'm going to drop it in and try and save the day. Oops. Oh no, they, hey, they're good. They're good? They're good. Really? It yeah, just they're fine. It just looked like all heck of broken loose. Yeah. I could have sworn he was green when I looked down on him, but Excellent. apparently it was a regular old villager, so hot damn. Excellent. Okay, configuration. Let's see. So we need oxygen to go into one. Auto eject on. Let's turn that off. So let's see, input. There are still a million billion zombies swarming around that. Round the house. Like, literally at least two dozen. Okay. Crazy. Uh, I'm going to get out in the morning, but that's okay. Hmm, interesting. Let's see, input. Okay, so one of these requires, needs to be oxygen. We've got power already. It's already... I figured it out finally, I think. I'm still not entirely sure why this thing wasn't accepting oxygen properly, but I've got that working now. Slowly filling this tank with hydrogen now, which we'll use later. So, um, I set the redstone to low so that it would operate with no redstone, which seems to work better than having it at disabled. So we do that, and what I had to do in here is I set this to red and the output side to blue and set auto eject on, and that seems to dump these, um, and then we set, this one is just misconfigured right now, so the red, this has to be set to red. There it goes. See, now it's received the input. So that sets the input. And then we set that to dark blue and that to dark blue. And that becomes the output. And then we set this to red. And if I've done this right, and to low, we should in a moment. Oh, and auto eject. Bingo! We now have a fully automated ore processing system. Well, almost fully automated. So we have a distinctive issue with power supply right now, because this is not outputting nearly enough power, but that's okay, because we're gonna switch to hydrogen for our primary power source. Uh, I'll build a hydrogen generator in a few minutes here. And yeah, because you see we've, we've run out of power. It's not getting enough power to operate. But it is very slowly beginning to generate ingots. And then all I have to do is output that to a nice big chest for storage right here. And we should be laughing. We can bring the stuff in through these uh, ducts here. 
straight into here and we'll be well on our way. So I will see you in the next episode when I get this refined a little further. Thank you very much for watching. Just in case you're wondering, Kate had to run to take care of our, our daughter. She had, she was finished her nap, shall we say. And yes, but yes, I will get the next stage of this up and running and I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.